it's this event doesn't happen just by accident. Uh, our uh, Education Foundation puts a lot of hard work in raising money uh, throughout the year, and they roll that back into grants, as you well know, but also they uh, put on great events like this, and so it takes a lot of people to uh, pull together and uh, pull off something like this. But um, as, as uh, Taylor said, we want to thank uh, Clark and um, Prairie View for hosting us each year. They do a great job on that, and then uh, our... Uh, all of our uh, tech people are putting the videos together. They have to spend quite a bit of time doing that. But mostly we are here to celebrate the uh, teachers and the support uh, personnel, uh, that the, the, the folks that actually do the work on a daily basis. And for those of you that have been nominated for Teacher of the Year or Support Professional of the Year, I want to say congratulations. It uh, is a testament to what you do on a daily basis for our students and also our employees throughout the school district. So I want to say thank you and congratulations for your nomination. And uh, it is an honor for us to be able to honor you tonight. So if you will, everybody uh, join me please in congratulating with a round of applause all of these nominees. All right, and now I'll turn it over to Miss Janet Jackson. Good evening, everyone. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the District Support Professional of the Year finalists at this time. And we all know that Eden Public Schools doesn't only educate kids. They perform complex logistical operations day in and day out. And without our support professionals, the education piece would not be possible. We appreciate all our support professionals who make a difference in the lives of our students every day. Um, finalists, when I call your name, please come forward to be recognized by Foundation President Taylor Venus and District Superintendent Dr. Daryl Floyd. And family members are more than welcome to come up um, and take photos during your presentation if you'd like to do that. Okay. Opal Chase has been with the district for four years as a paraprofessional. She is described by her colleagues as being a person who will go above and beyond for her students. Valerie Cohen, teacher at Glenwood, nominated Opal Sane. She is a loyal, supportive addition to any classroom she goes into and always has the children's best interests at heart. Thank you, Opal. Elvira Lopez is an ELL tutor and translator at Monroe Elementary and has been for the last three years. Always ready to lend a hand to families or staff members in need, she also serves as a liaison between Monroe and the Hispanic community. Scott Allen, principal of Monroe, nominated Elvira and says, she is highly trained in numerous teaching strategies and interventions to reach individual student needs. She develops strong relations with her students and parents. In addition to that, my teachers love her. Thank you all. <laughs> the third and final Support Professional of the Year finalist is Hillary Merritt. Hillary is a paraprofessional at Enid High School. With 13 years in the district, she has worked at multiple levels in elementary, middle, and high school positions. She has worked in some of the most challenging classrooms and always has handled herself, peers, and students with professionalism and kindness, said colleague Carrie Johnson, who nominated Hillary. Thank you. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to announce the Ena Public Schools District Support Professional of the Year, Elvira Lopez.
Elvira, I hate to put you on the spot, but we would love it if you would like to make a comment. <laughs> We'd love for you just to have a sentence or two if you'd like. Sue is a second grade teacher at Liza 
and now we're elementary. She has been in education for 42 years. She has spent 11 years with Ena Public Schools. She says it's always rewarding when students come back to visit or invite you to their memorable events to see the persons that these children have become and know that you had a small part. She says it will always be our job as educators in a community to give children an endless amount of support, love, and an educational experience that they may use and carry with them the rest of their lives in becoming the future citizens of our community. for my students, making a difference in their lives, building lifelong relationships, positively impacting my community, and that my profession fills my life and heart with much joy. Next, I'd like to introduce Tina Tidyberg. been with EPS for the last four years and has been in education for seven years. Tina says, I've been blown away by the support of my fellow colleagues and members of the community. Having their support has enabled me to provide a rich education to the future citizens of Eden. Yes, 
She says, I most enjoy the children and their joy of coming to school, seeing their friend and teachers and learning new things. My favorite thing to hear in the morning is, what are we learning about today, Mrs. Rose? Our next finalist is Anna Casillas. <laughs> Anna is a third grade teacher at Taft Elementary. She has been in education for four years, in those four years right here at EPS. She says, I enjoy being able to build relationships with my children and giving them the opportunity to grow as a person throughout the year. Our children are the future, and making a difference in their lives means a lot to me as a teacher. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Next, we have Eric Thomas. <laughs> Eric is the leadership teacher at Emerson Middle School. He's been in education for 10 years. He spent all 10 of those years with Eno Public Schools. He says, we only get one chance to change the world for the better, and being a teacher is the best way to do that. We don't just affect singular people. We change families, communities, and generations. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have Jeff Funk. Jeff is a seventh grade science teacher at Longfellow Middle School. He's been in education for 31 years and spent two years with Enon Public Schools. He says, there are so many negative influences and broken situations around us. We have to be the light for so many. Keep pushing, keep striving, keep moving forward for excellence and have great expectations. I'd like to introduce Dr. Aaron Lusby. Aaron is an eighth grade science teacher at Waller Middle School. He's been in education for 16 years and with our district for four years. What I enjoy most about teaching is getting to know the kids beyond their roles as students, seeing how their personalities develop throughout the school year. Thank you, Erin. Next, we have Brenda Nidek. Brenda is at Eden High School, and she's teaching Honors World History, Honors English II, AP Human Geography. There might be more. I remember it in a very long list. She has been in education for 22 years and with our district for three. She says, it is my honor to help students make academic connections, master demanding coursework, and prepare for productive, useful, and enjoyable futures. Futures that a rock solid education can provide for any one of them. Finally, I'd like to introduce Kelly Irvin. <laughs> Kelly is an English teacher at Lincoln Academy. She has been in education for 13 years and has spent 12 years with Ena Public Schools. She says, once a student knows that you truly care about them, not only as a student, but as a person, you can teach them anything because they will listen. EPS TV has um, created a video of our teacher final. I didn't cry this year. I'm only proud. Sometimes the video makes me cry. It's not good. Um, our students are our best investment for the future success of our community, and one person.
person, one opportunity can really change child's life. Thank all of you finalists for giving so freely of yourselves to our students every day. And I'd really like us to give a round of applause to all the finalists. Um, in addition to the prizes that have been donated by our local community, this year's District Teacher of the Year will have the opportunity to choose a professional development conference to attend. Costs of up to $2,000 towards this training will be covered as part of the winning teacher's prize. We have a special thanks to our assistant superintendents, Randy Rader and Doug Stafford, and to Dr. Floyd for helping make this possible. And without further ado, please join me in congratulating the 2020 Enid Public Schools District Teacher of the Year, Dr. Aaron Busby. <laughs> Thank you. 